Hey guys, Mike again with TV Parts today. We got a big boy on the table behind us. It's an LG 65UN6950ZUA. I'm gonna show you how to take the back off of it as well as the boards. And as always, give us a call at 1-800-203-7484 to place any orders and let's get into it. All right guys, uh, here we have our TV on its back side. Uh, the first thing we're gonna check for are all the screws. We need to get those removed. Um, once we get the screws taken out, <clears throat> I believe it is clipped around the edges. Uh, so we will be using a uh, flathead screwdriver as well as a plastic spudger. If you do not have a plastic spudger at home, uh, really anything can be used in place of it. Uh, you wanna stay away from metal objects as much as possible, but I mean, if that's all you got, hey, that's all you got. So let's get started. Losing my screws, folks. But once you've gotten to this point here, if you try to lift up, and I believe there are a couple of holes here on the sides, you can try to get your finger inside of them. It's gonna be a lot easier if we just take a flathead and a spudger. And like I had mentioned before, the spudger, uh, you can find something else to substitute at home if you don't have one of these. What you wanna do with your Phillips, or your sorry, your flathead here, Try to get some leverage in between the frame and the back of this, just to get it lifted up a bit. You can hear that clip popping up. And then we can insert our spudger into that little gap. And that should help us quite a bit. Uh, just kind of run it along here, twisting it a bit as you go, just gently. There you go, there's another clip there. That's good on that side. So let's take it across the bottom here. Might need to actually get this under here again. There we go. And then insert your spudger and just kind of go to work here at the bottom. You'll slowly start to hear some of these clips popping up and away. There we go. Here's some more of that popping away. Review. There we go. Here's some of that popping. Let's try. There we go. Some of these might have popped back into place, but I believe we've gotten enough of them that we can just lift up on this here. And there we have the back of our set. All right, folks, uh, first stop here, main board. We've just got a couple ribbon cables here, one back here on this back end, and then two regular clips and a handful of screws. Uh, first thing you wanna take note of is your speaker right here. That is essentially what this clip is going to. If you follow it, you're gonna notice that it is clipped in right here. Uh, we're gonna just get our finger underneath of the uh, wiring there and press down on the top with our thumb to release the lever that is holding it in place. And now our speaker's disconnected. And that'll give us a little bit more wiggle room uh, whenever we go to remove this board. Uh, let's go with this ribbon cable first since it's going over the top here. Just flip up the flap and just shimmy the ribbon straight out, that'll be good. This guy here, just pinch down at the top to release that latch and it pulls straight on out. This clip here, we're gonna pinch on the sides and pull it directly away from us. I'm gonna use two hands here because these usually give me a little bit of grief. They may not give you any, but there we go. Now that that's safely removed, we can flip up these flaps on these ribbon cables and remove them very gently. 
There we go. That's number one, and here's number two. And now we've just got a handful of screws. As always, gently lift up in case it's adhered to the back. It is not. And as always, with these flashings, uh, you can just remove these from your board if you're planning on actually replacing it with another one. And you can just pop that bad boy right onto your new board. And that's our main. All right, guys, on the power supply, uh, we're going to notice this clip here goes all the way over to our main board. This one here connects to our backlights, and those are the only two uh, cablings that we need to worry about today. Uh, this guy here, you can see that there's just two strands coming off of it, so be gentle. We're going to just press down on the lever on the top there and pull it straight out. Uh, be sure you have a good grip on the actual clip itself. You don't want to rip those wires out of their sockets. This right here, it's just gonna be a pinch on the side and pull out situation. Uh, as always, you can use two hands with this one. They usually give you some sort of grief. That one came out pretty easy. And then we've just got some screws and we'll be finished. All right, looks like this one comes up no problem, no adhesive, and there we have it. Alrighty folks, we lost a few screws on that one, but nonetheless, we pulled through. Uh, as always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you do subscribe to the channel, your first order will qualify for 20% off. Thanks, and we'll see y'all next time. Thank you for watching another TV Parts Today repair video. If you have a question regarding your TV repair, post a comment and we will try to help. And don't forget, you can help us and stay up to date by subscribing, liking, and sharing our content. Also, check us out on Facebook for exclusive promo codes.